Hello Art Fam, it's Luis Martin, the Art Engineer, and welcome to the studio, welcome to the safe space, where we'll collage and uh, play this low-risk, high-reward game. Um, remember, collage is just an entry point to your creativity, and there are many doors, so come on in and let's play. All right, before I do that, remember to like, subscribe, and most importantly, tell your friends. Tell your friends about this wild thing that you guys can do together. Watch a video, cut paper, drink some tea, some coffee, some mezcal, and have a good time, because um, it just is. All right, I did it again. I did it again. I hoard things, I don't throw anything away, and I have a box full of scraps, and that's what I want to play with today. It's post febrilage so there is no more prompts to follow, which could be a good thing, it could be a scary thing for other people, right? Some people like that um, assignment, and that's perfect. Don't throw that list away, use it again and see what happens. So today I'm kind of just gonna go with the flow and see what I find in the box. Uh, this is a really good idea if you find you have scraps that are full of potential, right? And like everything in art, it translates into life. So don't throw away things just willy-nilly. See what potential still lies in them. Um, so I'll show you. This is the set box, and um, these are a bunch of my stickers uh, that I've printed. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to take some of my favorite collages and turn them into stickers so I can share them with people, right? Uh, many times people buy my work, but also other people uh, who don't collect work can buy a sticker. All right, so let's see what's inside. Ah, it's me. I'm inside. Ha, huh, get me out of here. Uh, this is from the um, one of the prompts, right? Me. If you didn't get to do the me self-portrait, please do. And um, please post it on Instagram if you are on that or even Facebook. Uh, listen, as much as I like to think I'm unique, I am not. I am not the only person out there who's cheerleading you on and um, wants to see your work. There are other people out there who really, behind the scenes, are like, oh my god, what are they doing? So give us some life. Give us some goodness to, to enjoy. So put yourself out there. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna start making a pile of things that I possibly wanna work with. All right, how are you? What are you doing? I decided to dress up today because it's cold outside and like, I wanna dress like this guy, not that guy. But it's like, I'm tired of this cold and I'm trying not to take it personal, I'm serious. Uh, look, this is fun. I love my sketchbooks, you guys. If you don't keep a sketchbook, go get one, pause this video, immediately go to Staples, Michaels, whatever. Sketchbooks are like pillows, they're like ashtrays, they're like confessionals. These are just for you and everything goes. Um, it could be your box. Your box could be your sketchbook. Just put everything in your sketchbook, right? All right. Yes, my friends, I am a narcissist. Look, I'm here again. And that's okay. When the world tells you, when the world is full of messages that tell you not to like yourself, be a narcissist. In a good way, you know? Look what a beautiful face. I mean, look at these lines that tell so much story, right? Come on, how lucky are we if we get there? Okay, so this is my pile. That. I collect nice environments because I aspire to be in a beautiful environment. Always. You know, I kept this because... I don't know why I kept it. It's just so damn beautiful. So maybe I'll use it today. Um, love this. Let's use this. Love these little guys. Okay, okay. I feel it. Things are happening. <gasps> I got an email, you guys. All right, like, look at this. This pink and this green is just so rich. So if you're not a member yet, become a member. Um, we're doing some really exciting stuff. Uh, I don't want you to miss out. Okay. Look, this is an actual collage. Look, this is another from so much good... I mean, okay, let's get started here. Okay, what was I saying? Become a member. So right now we are doing a collective... We started introducing collective experiences, which, mean, which means that everybody who is a member gets a image that's the same, and we're all going to work from it. So if 
you get this image and you make something amazing, you get to see what other people did with it and compare and contrast stories, right? Because while we are both looking at this triceratops, this dinosaur, I'm seeing something completely different, right? Than you are. Even though we're looking at the same thing, we're looking at different things. When I see this, what do I hear? Uh, Jurassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous, such difficult words, my gracious. They happen, you know, not so far along, for these were the dinosaur ages. This is a song that I learned when I was student volunteering as a third grader with kindergartners. For you, maybe you think of Jurassic Park, maybe you think of nightmares. So this is the exciting part. We all look at things, but see completely different experiences. So let's play. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna release this. I like this. Okay. So yeah, that's that's my brain. That's what I think of when I see dinosaurs. I can't see Jurassic Park without singing that song in my head. Jurassic, Jurassic Cretaceous. Such difficult. Okay, I'll stop. Uh, but yeah. So go to collagedream.com, it's really fun. And you'll meet some amazing people around the world. I wanna say hi to Connie, hey Connie. Connie's actually in Northern Kentucky. I don't think I've ever been to Kentucky, I've been to Alabama. So look, I saved this, and if I put it here, it looks like it's on top of a mountain, and that just makes me so happy. So happy. When I was a kid, my mother, for whatever reason, moved to Birmingham, Alabama for a minute and I thought hey, I'll go visit so I went and I had no idea about temperature weather the south so I was what 13 and I was in my leather phase as most 13 year olds are uh, so I was wearing my matrix actually no it was a matrix it was blade that was the influence uh, my vampire blade trench coat and I'm like okay, I need coffee so we stopped at a 7-eleven or something and i went to go get coffee and they just looked at me and they said you're not from around here kid are you <laughs> and that was so that felt so good to me because i felt seen you know most of my childhood i felt invisible but i feel like someone recognized the fact that no i am not from here no i am not one of everybody uh yeah because when you're invisible, you definitely don't want to feel like the crowd. So that was fun. I've never been back, though. Maybe I should go back. Who's who's in the South? Let me know. Let me know what's good to do in the South. Uh, because, you know, we're taking a break from Florida. Oh, Florida. Oh, Miami. How I, how I loved you. We might still get back together. I don't know. Okay, so we're not taking the winter personally. We're moving along. And that's it. That's all I have to say. Now I'm just gonna shut up and collage. As if. Uh, what else? So I know I can't hear you, but if you tell me a story, I have a feeling I will hear it. Eventually. Um, I was just talking to some of my members who were who love the the prompts and they really miss the February Lodge prompts. So in Collage Dream we have summer prompts, so stay tuned for that. And that's gonna be really fun. Uh, I don't know where I'll be this summer. I hope to be somewhere exotic and warm with iced coffee. Ah, okay, cool. So this is what happened. See these little claws they're hard to cut so what i just do is i just trace around them and then cut into them because if you try cutting into them while you're doing everything else it's gonna be a mess and then you'll rip it and you'll be really upset and we don't want that right oh look at these guys this this, this little couple oh and she's pregnant i think you guys Wait, is that how it works? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm projecting. The thing is that it's a little couple. They're trying to make it. They're trying to survive in this harsh, harsh world. Projecting. See, this is the amazing part about art. Again, I'm seeing something completely different than you might be seeing. Maybe I'm projecting how it's so hard for couples. I don't know. 
Uh, but this is a really cool thing to do with friends, as I said earlier, because, as you can see, you just don't shut up. You, there's so much to talk about, right? Like, hell, have you seen a frog like this? Have you been to Puerto Rico where there's coquis? And they don't shut up. All they say is their name. Coqui, coqui, coqui. It's the coolest thing. Um, yeah, so go check those out in Puerto Rico and be nice. Uh, because Puerto Rico is going through a lot, you guys. So let's protect. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is, I mean, I, I, I want to stop right here. Look how beautiful this is. How sweet are they? They just want to go to their new penthouse apartment, this bonsai tree on top of a, what is this, opal? I love gems and rocks and stones, as you can see, but I don't know much about them, honestly. All I know is that there's a lot of opal in Australia, where our friend Wendy is. Hey, Wendy. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna have these two here. And then, what else did I get from my box? Let's see what else is in here. Hmm. So I have been very strategic about protecting myself emotionally because it's cold and the cold makes me like melancholic. So I've been listening to a lot of dance music. <laughs> A lot of Jesse Ware, a lot of disco, a lot of salsa, because it happens, right? Like, the cold just makes you want to crawl under a rock. At least it does me. I remember when I was a kid, I used to love it, because in LA, it was never cold. So then, when I moved to New York at 19, it was novel. I mean, when it snows, I'm still like, oh, wow, it's so beautiful. Uh, but it... It gets old fast. Um, so we'll see. I don't know where I'll be next year, the year after that, but I know I'll be having fun. Okay. So you know I can't make a collage without a flower, especially if I'm projecting. Okay, I'm not gonna get that petal. Let's see. So let me know what you're listening to. Normally I have a playlist for the members, but I have been so, um, and things that I haven't been able to do that. So right now it's seasonal. Right now we have the winter playlist. So this is too big. But no one says that I can, that I can't go out of the page, right? Ooh, no. I want to keep it small this time, you guys. I want to keep it small. Um, more. So... Oh, yes. So, yeah. So, I'm dancing along. I'm dancing along this winter. Uh, and uh, waiting for spring. So, if you have, like, you know, if you have nowhere to go, and you're, like, just itching to do something special, this is what you're going to do. This is your assignment, should you choose to accept it. Are you ready? Invite two friends for a fancy, it's my favorite word, fancy. That's what the kids used to call me when they wanted to insult me as a little kid. Fancy Louise. Um, now I love it. Uh, invite your friends, two of them, for a fancy collage making session. Yeah. Get all dressed up and come collage. Because if you have nowhere to go, like why wait, right? Make up, make up your own excuse to, to go out and have fun. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Mm, this is so fun. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Sometimes you can... Look what I'm going to do. Can I cut your face, sir? Okay. I felt like I had to ask permission because it's so beautiful. Ooh. Check that out. All of a sudden... It becomes super divine, right? Like, this little couple climbing up that hill, <gasps> like the Kate Bush song, into divine territory. Oof. Oh, this, must, this might be a short video, you guys, because this is coming together. Let's see what else we can do here. There's still this band on the bottom that we can play with. Um, 
One thing that I like to challenge myself that I never do, and it's very hard for me actually, is making humorous art. I am a super, um, as you can tell, super serious person. Uh, so I, it's hard for me to make funny things. Uh, I will say though, these uh, paper cut video series are just you and I, so they're very like intimate and very serious and kind of, you know, the energy is kind of grounded. But if you ever see the uh, happy hours, oh my God, I go back and watch them sometimes and I'm like, I am nuts. <laughs> you know, and that's cool. That's, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that I can be that crazy because it means I survived, right? Um, so if you want a little bit more of an up-tempo, go check those out. Oh, look at that. So I like this and you know, I have these fancy little toys here that we can play with. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, you know what it is? It's a Fata Morgana. $5 words, what is it? A Fata Morgana is an optical illusion, but what it, is, what it means is a, um, a floating castle in the sky. Sometimes things, because of atmosphere, look like they're floating in the sky like ships. So this is like a Fata Morgana. It's just a fun word to say, I'm gonna say it again. Fata Morgana. Maybe we can play with that. I like this, but the scale is too big. So we'll cut it one more time. I love pink. I don't wear pink, but I love pink. Okay. You guys, ooh, okay. I'm just gonna start um, gluing these because sometimes you gotta commit because when it's too ornate or too intricate and you set it up, then it's gonna become a chore to get it back together where it was and you don't want a chore. No one wants a chore. Okay. Yes. Have you had breakfast? I haven't had breakfast, I'm hungry. You know what I'm gonna go get after this? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go get kale pancakes. Oh, there's this restaurant by my house called Ha 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 Ha. Uh, and it's Mexican, supposedly, um, but it's vegan. So they have uh, kale pancakes, which I just love pancakes. Trivia. Um, and they have these beautiful green pancakes and they're just beautiful and I want them and I can have them every day if, of the week if I could. Okay, love this, love this, love this. Gee, okay, I don't need much more, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see what else I can add just so we can hang out a little bit longer because there's enough information here that makes me super happy. All right, let's see what else I have in here. Hmm, I love fonts. Oh, I love this tree. See, this this that's like the basis of another collage. Look at this. This is, these are Thai gods when we went to Thailand. Oh, this is beautiful. Kathy sent me this. Hmm, okay, I like this. I like leaves. Maybe. Peut-être. Let's see. Where are you going this summer? You know, it's time that we kind of ease out. Let's let's go travel somewhere. Um, Paris? Kentucky. Let's go somewhere. The world is big. And as I was, as I was saying earlier... I'm not unique. There are many other people out there who want to hang out with you, who want to make art with you. So let's go find our tribe. Let's go find our community. <gasps> talking about tribe, talking about community. Look at this. <sighs> Ask for it and it shall come. Oh, I love that. I love it so much. Can I incorporate this? This is tricky. Well, okay, let's play a little bit. So I like this. Let me release this from the page. Um, you know I love this. Um, let me use scissors for this. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's just cut it out. So when you're doing something like this, you know, don't be so precious and break your patience doing it. Just be free. Let's see. Ooh, the other day I also painted, which is really nice. I'm also a painter. I love to paint. But... Because of space, I don't paint too much. Paper is very easy to store, obviously. And it's easier to sell. 
paintings, my goodness. Especially here in New York, I mean, you know. C'est très difficile. I don't think that's how you say difficult in French. Okay, let's see. Ooh, like that, he's crying. See, I'm telling you, I'm such a melodrama. I'm such a drama queen. Oh, yes. Why do I like this? Because it looks like the gods are like hidden now, right? But maybe not. I don't know. Something's happening here, but I don't know what it is. Okay, little guys. Oh, okay. So this is fun because then it starts becoming asymmetrical, which is much more interesting than symmetrical, right? See my haircut? Asymmetrical. Otherwise, I just look weird. Um, I want to use these guys so bad. All right, let's see how let's see how we can incorporate these these amazing Arikara dancers. So, disclaimer: I do send a lot of images of Native American art because we don't see a lot of Native American people in the media. The history has been erased. So. I, it needs to be out there, it needs to be spoken about, it needs to be learned about. But also, treat these images with respect. Understand that these pictures were actually taken without permission. They were kind of coerced into being exotic and like, oh, let's shoot you. Uh, so, you know, tread lightly, please. Uh, and with respect, as with, with everything, right? You can't just take a picture of somebody and do something too crazy out of context. So just, just keep that in mind. All right, let's see what I can do here. I have an idea. Okay. You know I love circles. You know I love tearing things. Oh man, this is gonna be cool. Yes. Maybe I want them down there. Oh, I'm so conflicted now. There it is. There it is, okay. I'm letting it tell me what to do. So, yes, I do. When you get to um, trust yourself enough, you actually can just flow with what you're doing, right? That That's kind of like a really good place to be. So, I'm not being like, oh, this has to be perfect. No, I'm kind of just letting it, the paper move around uh, the the substrate and I'm letting it tell me what to do. And it's telling me I want to be right here. And there it shall be. Art can be super like, <coughs> you're done. Or it can also be like, okay, let me center myself and let me connect with what? Whatever you want, the universe with ancestors. Let me play with this a little bit. I love that blue there. Oh, so Got it, okay. Okay, let me just fasten the little guy so he doesn't fall off. We don't want them falling out. Okay, so let's make some space and see what we created. All right, anytime you make something, make room to kind of just look at it and, and, and see what came out, right? So why does this work? Hmm. First of all, all of these images I had already picked, so it's not like I had to search for them, right? I did search for them in the box, but I know that everything in that box is something that I love because I had already pre-assembled pre them or put them together. Uh, then, I started with the bonsai and kind of worked with its placement and then created something from there, kind of emerged a Fata Morgana, right? This idea of a floating castle. And really we're all kind of floating castles, right? We're kind of islands of our own ideas and we see our own things, right? Jurassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous. Um, and then I found these little guys and I projected myself and possibly my husband 
uh, the idea of kind of making our own world, right? But we we exist in a plane with many levels, right? There's like the divine, the earth, and then us in a bubble, and then again the divine, and it kind of just loops around. Um, I love this collage. I'm really excited about it actually because uh, it's not at all what I thought was going to happen today. So allow yourself to be shocked and surprised. And when you have this feeling, then you know you're doing the right thing, right? So it doesn't matter who likes it, who doesn't like it, as long as you feel good about it. So that's it, you guys. This is Luis Martin, the art engineer, thanking you for hanging out with me in the safe space in the digital studio. And um, keep in touch. Show me what you're doing. Tag us at collage.dream on Instagram. And if you don't do that, email it to me. My email is somewhere easy to find. Uh, all right. Love you.